be lived out through you. Right. We read it, the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts right. by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 John also said in 1 John 2, My little children, these things write unto you that you sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him. Somebody say, well, I know Jesus. Yeah. I know God. I love Jesus. Right. Really? Right. How do you know that? Come on. Well, I go to church on Sunday morning. Right. No? That's not necessarily right. No. Well, I, I read my Bible. That's not necessarily right. Well, I call myself a Christian. I even, I even will put on the t-shirt that says I love Jesus. Right. Or whatever. John said, hereby we do know that we know. How do I know that I really know him? How do I know that I really love him? If we keep his commandments. He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of God. God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. How do I really know I'm saved? How do I really know I love God? How do I really know that I know him? It's when he's written his legacy upon the tables of my heart and he's put it within my mind. So where I live according to his will. And I live to please him. Oh, uh, hallelujah. Sweetheart, would you come to the piano? I'm closing here. How do I know that I'm a Christian? How do I have assurance of salvation? We can have that. We can know that we're saved. There's a lot of different ways. He said we'd love the brethren. We keep his word. We keep his commandment. Right. Right. There'd be a change in our life. Right. I realize we're in a sloppy gospel day and hour where any, anything goes. There's no conversion. There's no change. You just write your name on the membership book. You come to church and throw some money in the offering. Come on. You look the part. You fit in. You blend in. But I'm afraid when we stand before him in judgment, that's not going to cut it. We're going to have to have the blood applied to the doorposts of our heart. We're going to have to have a changed heart and mind. We're going to have to have a conversion and the love of God put in our heart in such a way where it turns our whole world upside down. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I'm closing here. I, I, I read a while back about this, uh, this man who joined the military. And he was at boot camp. And that platoon sergeant was bearing down on him. And he thought, what in the world have I signed up for? And so as time went on, man, he just, he couldn't hardly take the, the tactics of this sergeant. He was so rough. He was so tough. A lot of the stuff he did didn't make sense. Huh? But he was teaching how to submit to obedience, to authority, the simple, simple things to where when he said jump, they jumped. They didn't ask why. Amen. And so, you know, he, he warned them of the dangers of not following orders and instead taking shortcuts along the way. And he began to drill protocol into their heart. Protocol into their mind. And as they trained and as they relentlessly worked to get protocol into their heart and into their mind. They were, they, were, they were finished with their training. They were shipped out. They found themselves on a front line. And he said it wasn't many days later. We were riding along and our vehicle was hit with a bomb. And he said immediately, without even thinking about it, we mindlessly followed protocol. 
what he had taught us to do, what he had trained us, how to react. It was, it was in there. We just reacted. We didn't think about it. And he said, because of that, everybody in that vessel was saved because we didn't even have to think about it. We just, we just followed the procedure and the protocol that had been put into us. Amen. And when that moment of decision and that moment of trial and that moment of testing came, it was second nature to respond in the right way. How oh, can I tell you this morning? Amen. He wants to write his law upon your heart. He wants to put it in your mind to where when you're caught in a place of temptation, when you're in a trial and a test, you will respond according to his word and his will. He wants to put protocol. Why do we preach what we preach? Is it just a list of do's and don'ts? Is it just ritual? Oh, come on now. Is it just, you know, the, the, these traditions? No, it's protocol. He's writing it on our heart. He's putting it in our minds. So when we're in the place of temptation, we respond correctly. Joseph was pressed daily. Temptation was there. He responded protocol. Come on. He abstained from the appearance of evil. He fled youthful lust. He got out of there. Why? Something was in his heart. Listen, young person. God wants to write something on your heart here this morning. Listen, sinner friend. He wants to make a change in your life this morning to where he puts something special inside of you to where you can be one of these ambassadors of Christ. You can be enlisted in the greatest army. You can be a representative of Jesus Christ and live out the legacy of our Lord. Hey, I'm here to say he's not been forgotten. What he did was worth remembering. Oh yes. And every time somebody prays through, we remember heaven's rejoicing. What's happening? There's another monument. There's another memorial. Every time a home is put back together. Every time a drug addict is cleaned up by the Spirit of God. Every time an alcoholic is saved and changed. What is it? It's a testimony of the legacy of our Lord. It's a monument to His grace. Every head bowed, every eye closed. I'm going to open these altars this morning. You're here today. I'm going to pull for the lost here for just a moment. You're here and you don't know Jesus as your Savior. Maybe you thought you knew Him, but there hasn't been a change in your heart. Maybe, maybe you're confused about it today. I want to tell you, if you make a trip to this altar, you can have assurance. If you'll fall on this altar, God can bring a change in your heart. If you'll commit yourself to Him. Is there anybody that will respond right now? Say, Lord, I want to commit my life to you. Oh, I need to pray in church here this morning. I'm pulling for somebody right here. Come on, young person. Come on, parent. I don't know who you are. I don't know what your story is. But I do know one thing. He went to great lengths to bring freedom to your soul. Jesus paid a great price so that you could live above sin. You don't have to fall. You don't have to be addicted. You don't have to be bound. Jesus brought a better way. Jesus brought liberty. Oh, yes, he did. He brought freedom through his precious blood. This altar is open for somebody. Come on. Hallelujah. Just a few moments more. You want to give your heart to Jesus. I'm giving you opportunity right now. The grace of God is extended. The Spirit of the Lord is pulling. Won't you respond and come and kneel at this altar and pray and ask God to move into your heart and write His, His, His covenant upon the tables of your heart and put it in your mind. Come on. Come on. Come on, that's right. Come on, that's right. You're thinking about it. Won't you respond? Come on, young man. Come give your heart to Jesus today. Come on. Come on, young lady. Come give your heart to Jesus today. Surrender to his will. Let him lead you. Let him govern your life. Hallelujah. Come on.
on church let's gather in let's find a place to pray today let's make an altar let's make a commitment to leave out the legacy of our Lord oh yes we can become the righteousness of God in him because of what he's done because of who he is come on everybody let's make a fresh commitment I want to live out the legacy of my Lord and Savior oh lest we forget what he's done oh lest we forget the price that he paid for us his grace hallelujah his grace there is a river his mercy his love has made it possible hallelujah. the city of our God oh yes that's right come on talk to the Lord here Be glad. 